Your news in brief for Wednesday the 11th of July. The amber threat level was raised to red today in the House of Commons during discussions over last night's failed Lords Reform Bill. In fact, at one point, David Cameron's face became so red that the rest of his true blue-blooded body threatened to reject it. Not the first time the Tory leader's lost his head in the last 24 hours, as news came out that he sacked two of his revolting party members from his revolting party. Health Secretary Angela Lansbury spoke in the House of Commons today, saying he'd like to take the stress out of retirement by offering low-interest loans of up to 50% payable after death to pay for elderly care that will be insufficient and probably not there for when it's needed. And as it's a capped loan, this won't even take the worry out of will the money run out before the need does. In fact, all this does do is create a whole new level of society. Deceased direct debitors. UK dairy farmers say that government subsidies don't go far enough in protecting them from supermarket price wars. They say they feel stressed, confined and that they're being sucked dry. Well, now they know how it feels. And sad news as it's announced that after eight and a half years, Radio 1 is to part ways with Chris Moyles. The sad news came when Chris Moyles said he hopes to continue working in broadcasting on quality programming such as Quiz Night on Channel 4 and Love Machine with Stacey Solomon on Sky. Sad news indeed. This has been your News in Brief for Wednesday the 11th of July.